Alabama's Agriculture Commission is celebrating its 20th annual tomato sandwich lunch today. News 19 State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple shows us how this event highlights the importance of buying local. Hundreds gathered here at the Ed Teague Arena to sink their teeth into some fresh tomato sandwiches and also support local farmers. Agriculture Commissioner Rick Pate says the event is a showcase for the state's homegrown products with almost everything from the bread to the corn to the tomatoes to the sweet tea made in the state. It's a celebration of everything in Alabama. And while you might have to look a little harder to buy local this year due to a cold snap that devastated some crops, Pate says it's worth it. It tastes so much better local better for you, keep the money in Alabama, so it's just a win-win by five. It's also a win for Mike Ellison. We have uh, some butternut squash. He runs Windmill Farm in Robertsdale, growing 42 different vegetables with a focus on whatever's seasonal. Right now it would be sweet corn, black eye, pink eye peas, squash, okra, tomatoes. Ellison says while some of his crops were affected this year by weather, he was able to replant in time to bring plenty of produce to market. He says buying local is not only good for farmers, but for consumers. I eat out of the same field that I sell out of, so I'm not going to over poison or use too much herbicide. So that's one reason. But another reason is we pick at like the peak, right? And so you get the flavor, the texture, it's not on a truck for a week or two, so you get a lot better flavor and a lot better uh, product. And if you want to find some farmers markets near you, go to the website Sweet Grown Alabama. They have a map with a full list of locations. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.